Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, at least that's the time I'm recording this. It's, uh, well, it's late afternoon, around 5 p.m.-ish, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's still afternoon, uh, to be all technical about it. And I made an afternoon journey to Taco Bell because I realized I had some unfinished business to tend to. Um, I believe I may, may have even said it in the uh, the other review. When I reviewed the Triple Double Crunch Wrap, I said, you know, there's a mysterious, lesser-known counterpart of this sandwich that they call the spicy Triple Double Crunch Wrap. And I said, maybe one day, maybe one day, if I have the energy and motivation to do so, I will review it. And here we are. It's the spicy triple double crunch wrap. What is it? Well, it's their uh, their triple double crunch wrap, which comes with two layers of seasoned beef, nacho cheese, and then piled on top is, I believe, lettuce, tomato. But this one has a spicy ranch and little bits of jalapeno. So it's supposed to bite in. You're supposed to get that spicy kick from it. And I got the big box. Um, you can see here it's got an interesting little design. Um, that's Moon Man there holding up the MTV flag. And then they got this this background here. It's like some sort of plasma that maybe it took some LSD and that's what it looks like now, but it's advertising the VMAs um, August 28th, to be exact. But uh, that's what I got, at least. So anyways, here we go. Our triple double crunch wrap. We'll, uh, we'll leave the box open for, for ease of, in case anything pours out. Here it is, here is, here it is, uh, an all too familiar sight. Um, pretty thick, fairly heavy, so we'll just start biting in, uh, we'll get a good, good spot right here. We'll start at the corner and we'll, you know what it tastes like. So it's a triple double crunch wrap, the spicy version, going in. So I'm glad I opened up this box here. And as I say in every single video, we'll take two more bites. We'll take one more bite. One thing that I realized I didn't show in the last review that I really want to show you here is actually what it actually looks like, like a cross section um, of it. So you can see that's what it looks like. Um, right there, you can get a good, good view of it. And you can see really, um, though there's two layers of beef, um, you can see that there's really, it's, it's, it's not like both layers are, are completely loaded with meat and, and cheese, etc. Um, because they aren't. Okay. So, of course, in terms of how it's presented, um, very similar to the last one. If you saw that review, you know. It's not always completely equal on the inside. There's some pockets which have more ranch. There's some pockets which have more nacho cheese. There's some pockets which, which have more meat. Um, and also the two layers, it's not like the pictures show where it's just, you know, they're overflowing with beef because they're not. Um, the bottom layer itself almost seems non-existent. There's still some beef there, but it's just, you know, not, not a ton. And this is a Baja Blast, by the way very refreshing on a hot 90 something degree day like today so here's what it tastes like when you bite in um, the first thing you're really gonna notice is a little bit of a crunch from that inside a little bit of a, a crispy shell that's on the inside you're gonna notice a little bit of a crunch to it um, but first and foremost the meat itself of course does have a nice little bit of a, a saltiness to it 
Um, and the nacho cheese, you're really not going to notice a ton of. I know people don't like that I'm always, you know, uh, always criticizing the nacho cheese. They always say, if you, well, you lay off that nacho cheese or else. And they'll say that to me, you know, they'll, it is what it is. Uh, we're all, you know, have our own opinions, which we may hold. Um, but this time you can't really taste too much of the nacho cheese. Um, you, you really can to this time around. Um, I bite in, I can't really taste much of it. I can taste the saltiness of the beef, a little bit of that meaty flavor, but not too much because the beef is cut into smaller pieces. Um, so, you know, that's that's the, the meat of it, um, to use that literally and figuratively. Um, then comes the upper layer, and this is the important one, because does it actually have that spice to it? And I could confirm I saw the jalapenos and there was that ranch. Well, here's what you get. You bite in, and the ranch naturally has almost a cooling type of, of sensation to it. Um, what's very interesting here is that the heat from the ranch is not direct. It's not like you put it on the tip of your tongue and you're saying, oh boy, you know, this is a hot one. You're not going to be saying that. Rather, what you'll notice here is the sensation the ranch gives is you'll eat it, you'll get that dollop of ranch in your mouth, you'll swallow it, everything seems just fine. And then as an aftertaste, when you exhale, then you'll notice a little bit of spiciness come in there. All right, as for the jalapenos, they're there, um, but they don't really, they, they more, more or less blend in with everything else. Um, you can taste, again, a little bit of spiciness from them, but not as much as if you just picked out the jalapenos yourself and just plopped them in your mouth and just ate them whole. Um, it, it's mildly spicy, to put it at that. Um, everything goes together actually pretty nicely in this, uh, as I said with the, the first one, um, I was a bit impressed in that regard, the fact that, you know, usually Taco Bell, it's just drowning in some sort of sauce, and it's some unequal distribution, but this one actually goes together pretty well, it does have a nice saltiness to it, as I said, um, but what you will notice, um, is a little bit of a mild spiciness that the jalapenos and the ranch does offer, um, the tomatoes and lettuce do offer a bit of a counteractive cooling to it. Um, and that may be a reason also why the spiciness is not that great. But mostly the spiciness in this lies in the aftertaste. Um, you'll eat it, you'll say it's not too spicy. And then when you exhale, you'll notice, all right, there's that little bit of spice to it. But you could easily, you know, down this without any sort of, uh, without any sort of drink or whatnot. None of that's needed. Um, but I, I should mention, if you want it to be spicier, get fire sauce, you know, just pour it on. Um, it'll probably add some extra flavor as well. So I do recommend that also. Now, price-wise for this, um, I got this in the big box. And that's around $6, but you're getting the triple double crunch wrap, which is very large, and you are getting a good portion of food, as well as two tacos of your, your liking, and also a drink. So I think it is worth it. Um, and by itself, I believe it varies from location to location, but usually it's around between 2 and $3, um, which is a, still a pretty decent price for it. So I think its value is, is pretty good. Um, I think it's priced pretty well. And, you know, I, I do wish this could be a little bit spicier, as they kind of implied it to be. Um, so I, I do wish it could be a little bit spicier, but I don't have much to bash this one on, um, because it is pretty flavorful in itself. Um, again, just, just to say, I do wish it, they could have added a little bit more spice to it. Um, perhaps added more jalapenos, perhaps redone the formula for the, the ranch and maybe put a greater emphasis on the spice or use the spicier pepper or whatever they use to spice it up. Um, but that's just my advice for them there. Now, that being said, out of 10, what am I going to be rating the spicy triple double crunch wrap from Taco Bell? Out of 10, I'm going to be giving this product, I'm going to have to give it. Um, I'm just going to have to give it a 7.9 out of 10. I've been rating things higher, but um, I, I think it's deserving of that because I think it's pretty good. It, just because they imply it to be spicy, you'd think it would be a little spicier. But otherwise, just I recommend it. Just get some extra sauce and uh, you'll be good. You'll be good to go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you today. I'm your host, The Report of the Week. And today's review is for the spicy triple-double crunch wrap from Taco Bell. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching and take care.